Fred Kelly here, your nerd sidekick. And today I want to revisit a topic I covered in a video last year, that was 2019, about how to upgrade your computer from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 free of charge. You can see that video up here. Now, the, the big question that I've seen a lot of people asking is, okay, we're, we're now in 2020 and we've passed the January 14th date and will I still be able to use this, uh, do this free upgrade? Now, why is January 14th important? Well, that was the date that Microsoft, Microsoft set as the deadline for receiving free updates to the Windows 7 operating system. So after January 14th, Microsoft will no longer issue security patches and updates to Windows 7 unless you're paying for extended support. So I'm guessing most of you don't want to do that. Your best bet's probably to upgrade to Windows 10. So people were asking if it's after the 14th of January, will this free upgrade still work? Well, for spoiler alert, uh, from what I've read, from what people have been saying on, on that video of messages they posted, the upgrade still works after January 14th. Uh, I have a computer here that is still running Windows 7. I kept it specifically to do this after the 14th of January. I'm making this video on the 29th of January, 2020. And so I'm going to test it. I'm going to see if I can upgrade this machine to Windows 10. Now, that'll also be a good chance to talk about some of the problems that people have had. Uh, if you're running a computer that is super old, that has old hardware, that has hardware that does not have updated drivers, then some of those people are not able to upgrade their computer to Windows 10. And so this, is a, <laughs> this computer is 15 years old. This is running in an Intel motherboard from 2005. Microsoft or uh, Intel stopped supporting this motherboard last year. They are no longer issuing any kind of software updates for it. In fact, if you go to their website, you can't even download the updates. So um, I'm hoping I'll still be able to use this motherboard, but it's a good chance to check. Now, other things that can cause problems are other devices besides the motherboard that are installed in your computer. And so if you have, for example, a big problem people have seemed to have that are using really old video cards and there are no drivers available for those cards that are compatible with Windows 10. And so the good thing is you could uh, install a more recent card in that computer and you should be able to get a driver that will be compatible with Windows 10. Now, many motherboards have integrated uh, parts on them that do different things like deal with the audio and uh, handle ports and do things like RAID and other things and so those drivers for those things are maybe handled from different uh, vendors other than the motherboard supplier. So one of the things I would suggest that you do is before you do your upgrade to Windows 10 you can just go in and make sure that the drivers you have on Windows 7 are most up-to-date that you can find. Now, one easy way you can do that is if you just go to click on your start button here and come down here and type device device manager. Wow, let me put the glasses on. That's I've said in a previous video. That's uh, a theme. I gotta wear glasses. So device manager. There we go. Okay. And I just hit enter and right here on the screen, there's my device manager. Now you can see all the devices that are installed in your computer here. If you click on the little arrow, you'll see the specific things in the, these overall categories. So for example, if I look at the display adapters, so here is the uh, video card that I have installed in this computer. It's a relatively new, uh, much more updated. It's not 15 years old, it's a few years old. And so I can right click on that and I can click on update driver software. And then I can either, if I have a downloaded driver here on my computer somewhere, I could locate that or I could click on search automatically and Windows would go and actually do a search to try to find the 
best software or the best driver for that particular piece of hardware. So I would suggest go through these different pieces of hardware and look to see if there are anything, any, any uh, driver that seems to be a problem that's not up to date. I don't suggest necessarily that you go and click on each of these and update the software, but you may see a little yellow icon next to the device. And if it's got an exclamation point there, that's telling you there's something wrong. I would definitely focus on those and make sure they're up to date. All right, so that's uh, dealing with your older devices. So again, just know that old computers may not be upgradable to Windows 10. And so you also want to, one thing that seems to be causing problems for people is trying to do an upgrade to Windows 10 while running, when, uh, running Wi-Fi using a connection to your internet with Wi-Fi. Temporarily, if you at all possible, plug in to the back of your computer with a cable and plug that into your router. And so wherever that is in your house. So you may have to move a computer or move a router or something, but uh, use, don't use Wi-Fi, use an ethernet port to plug in at least temporarily while the upgrade is happening. Uh, one other thing, you should go without saying, before you do this kind of thing, you probably want to back up your hard drive uh, or your whatever type of drive you have on the computer. And I have a video here that I made that shows that process. Um, and so it maybe goes into a little more detail than you might need, but that will help you to learn how to clone your drive so that you have an exact duplicate of your boot drive, the one that makes Windows work. So if something fails during your upgrade attempt, you can take that other drive, plug it into your computer, and it would be as if nothing ever happened, your computer would work again. So that's my suggestion. Do those things before you do your Windows 10 upgrade. But let me try it now on my computer. I'm not gonna show you all the details, all the, the steps, because I've done that in that previous video I mentioned. By the way, I'll, I'll link to all those videos down below in the uh, description. But uh, let me try mine, let me see what happens. I'll uh, walk you through this, and then we'll see at the end if it worked or not. So it's checking for updates. I assume that means it's checking for maybe something outside of the, the download that might need to be updated. And now uh, it's checking my PC. So this is probably where the majority of people will run into problems because it's going to verify whether or not my PC is compatible with Windows 10. So I'm crossing my fingers here that this thing's gonna work and uh, if it fails, then um, that's not the end of the world. I can still uh, tr see if there's anything in my system that can be upgraded hardware-wise. Okay, so there we go. And let's see what we got here. This PC can't run Windows 10. So uh, that's what can happen sometimes. It looks like uh, it's got... The, the CPU, the PC's processor, there's a couple of features that this older processor does not support. I've seen this before, actually. These are, um, this happens on PCs or processors. This is not the motherboard. So I talked about the motherboard uh, in, earlier in the video. I was wondering if my motherboard would be the problem. Well, looks like the motherboard's probably okay. It's actually the CPU in my case. And so I've seen this before. What I understand is that there are some features that are required by Windows 10, at least the 64-bit version of Windows 10. And so this processor does not support those particular features that are required. So uh, here's what can happen to you. You might you may run into some of these issues where you see these error messages or you see these problems. Google is your friend. Uh, Take the error message that you see here and 
put it into Google, look it up word for word, and you'll probably find other people with the same problem talking about uh, asking for help and maybe somebody has a solution. Uh, what I've actually seen on this particular problem is that I have a couple of options. Uh, one is I believe that I can install the 32-bit version of Windows 10, it may work with this processor. Now, the problem with that is if I upgrade this computer, I can't upgrade this computer uh, in its current state. It, it's a six, right now I have the 64-bit version of Windows 7 installed, and there's no way to downgrade to the 32-bit version when you upgrade to Windows 10. So I would actually have to basically wipe this computer, reinstall Windows 10 as the 32-bit version, and then do the upgrade to Windows 10 and hope that it works. So that's, that's one possibility. Another possibility is I could buy a CPU that would work with this motherboard and that would be uh, compatible with Windows 10. So, you know, you start asking yourself, well, is it worth the money? to make these upgrades or should I just get a new computer? And that's something you'll have to make a decision on your own. Now hopefully you don't have any problems like this. But again, I'm running a very old computer, 15 year old computer with some particular problems that just won't work with Windows 10. So there you go. Uh, it is still possible. I, I can guarantee you it is still possible after January 14th to do the upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, because I've seen plenty of people commenting on my last video uh, after that date, saying that they were able to make the upgrade to Windows 10 work. So don't be afraid to give it a try at this point in time. Uh, I just, you may run into this type of issue with your computer and be willing to do a little research and dig into the error message that it gives you and see if there's uh, some piece of hardware that might need to be upgraded in your computer and you should be able to go. So I got to make a decision about my computer. Maybe I'm going to put this thing out to pasture. I don't know yet. I have a couple of options, but I'll check it out. I'm Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick. I hope you join me on my upcoming videos. I'd love to have you watch those. If this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, click right over here. You can do that. And there's a couple of videos up here that might be of interest to you as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.